It's been said that all politics is local. Well, tonight's show is about all arts that are local. In this case, the talented artist of Sausalito Artists to Work from all over Northern California. Today we meet its founder, Sue Averill. Sue, welcome. Thank you. Now, the Sausalito Artists to Work is a group that lives not in a typical art space. It lives in a former construction site. Tell me about that. Oh, yeah. The, the building was actually made to construct Liberty ships after World War II. Mm -hmm. So it's a giant curved roof, Quonset hut style building. It's three stories. Um, that in the, in the beginning, the, the center portion of that building was hollow so that they could build the levels of the ship and access them all. And I think it was in about maybe six, early 60s or something, maybe uh -huh. even late 50s. They fl filled in the floors, and the first people to move into, you know, not a great building at first, um, were artists. So it really is a swords to plowshare story. It is. I mean, yeah, I, I know it it, as somewhat of a, of a maritime buff, having seen the building and been fascinated by it, and knowing that over 2,700 of these Liberty ships were built before World War II and actually helped carry munitions and, and uh, cargo mm -hmm. and in some cases uh, personnel to the war fronts in the Pacific and, uh, and in Europe. Now to find it the site of, is it the largest arts collaborative in Northern California? You know, I don't think, I don't think it is. I think the, actually the largest one's out at Hunters Point Shipyard. Yeah. Um, but we have a large group of artists. Um, there are about 100 artists in the building and the population fluctuates, you know, right. from, from year to year. But. Now, we're coming up on your biggest event of the year, the Labor Day Open House. Mm -hmm. And I understand that's kind of one of the things that gave you the name for your group. Tell me about that. You know, it is. Um, I wanted to have a show during the Labor Day weekend. Uh, we're right next to the Sausalito Art Festival. There's thousands and thousands of people that come into the area. And I didn't want to uh, have the same type of show. So this is a non-juried show. It's, and it's limited to the people within the ICB, the Industrial Center Building. Um, so it's this year there's going to be around 30 artists open. Um, and I, I wanted to make it very different than your normal open studio. I mean, everybody's you know, heard of open studio already. So I wanted to share the creative process with the visitors. So I explain for the non-initiated, what is the difference between a juried show mm -hmm. and a non-juried show, which is what Sausalito Artists to Work is doing? Well, a juried show um, has a, a, a panel of jurors or one juror. Um, that the artists are invited to apply to be in the show and then the jury panel reviews the work and, and the level of career the artist has. Um, our show is different because it's, it's everybody that wants to participate can um, and we're all in the same building so we can open our doors and, and the guests can move from floor to floor. We're open on all three floors um, and just walk into the working studio of an artist. So this is something that is really a reflection of what goes on every day. It's like you have an arts incubator at right. ICP. <laughs> right. Yeah, it, it's fun, and it, everybody has their different approach. I mean, we all might paint the same thing one day, but um, everybody would approach it in a completely different manner, um, and which, is, which is interesting, I think, and to see the different tools that artists use, because people that uh, are not you know, familiar with art and art tools and so on are artists, um, they don't really get to see the process when it happens. Right. Now you say that you're taking, the, the Saucedo Artist to Work Open Studios is taking place the same weekend, that's the first week in September, Labor right. Day, as the Saucedo Arts Fair, which has been going on for a, a very long time. Mm -hmm. What is the similarity to and the differences between these two events? And, and why are you doing it at the same time? It sounds like it might be com competition, but I don't, I gather you don't think that. No, you know, I don't think so. I, and I think the more people do it benefits everybody. Um, we are a completely different offering. Um, we are near there. We don't have music. We don't have food. Um, so you can go to the, see the artists and, and listen to the music and have food at the festival and then come over to the more quiet, completely art focused and creative focus mm -hmm. of our event. Now talk about some of the the types of art we're going to see. I mean you're a painter. Mm -hmm. uh, I've seen your work and been to your studio several times. You said there are about 30 artists that mm -hmm. are going to be taking part in the open studios. Is it all painting? Is some of it figurative? Is it photography? Um, we, the majority of us are painters. Mm -hmm. um, anywhere from plein air painters to abstract to kind of in between, like my work is, is abstraction of reality. Um, there are a few people that paint primarily female figurative. Mm -hmm. um, there's, uh, I think, two sculptors in the show this year. 
um, very, very different from each other. So there's a, a nice variety of work. I think there's something for everybody. Right. What is it that makes you want to paint? You've been an artist for how long? Uh, my first memories of yeah. you know, drawing in my coloring book, believe it or not, and trying to figure out what do I put in between those crayon lines if there's white? What goes in between there? Mm -hmm. And so what now makes you paint, other than, I mean, it was the white space between crayon right. lines. What is it now that makes you think, I, I've got to put that down on canvas? You know, I think it's color. I mean, I paint primarily cityscape and botanical works. I'm starting other subjects as well. Mm -hmm. But the most important to me is it's staying true to my style. I have, I have what I consider to be a very unique style. Mm -hmm. And um, color, I think, is one of the things that attracts people to my work. And I think that's one of the reasons I, each day, am inspired to, to continue. Right. I know that something that's been important to you over the last few months as the founder uh, of this group is getting artists to embrace technology. How does the arts community, and, I, and I've been to ICB, and these are working artists, you know, a, a great uh, difference in ages and backgrounds and, and whatnot and, and styles. Has it been hard to convince them that, you know, we really need to start using social media and whatnot to, to market what we do? Yeah, you know, it's, artists are kind of a different breed that way. Um, I've always been interested in technology. Um, I think that it has helped me get as far along as I am. I mean, I understand how to get good placement on the internet and that sort of thing. Um, and I, th I think in nowadays, uh, if you don't have a web presence and you don't really concentrate on marketing in that way, mm -hmm. I, I think you're going to be a step or two behind the artist that does understand that. Mm -hmm. What would you like to see Sausalito Artist at Work become? I mean, right now it's, it's a very collaborative group, and you sponsor this open studios. I believe you do one in the winter as well. Mm -hmm. That's What's actually um, uh, sponsored by the ICB Artists Association. Got it. It's another group. So what is next for you all? You know, I'm not sure. I mean, one of the reasons I named it Sausalito Artists at Work and not ICB Artists at Work, yeah, yeah. you know, is it's not about the building. It's about the people in the building. Mm -hmm. And also, it, it opens up an opportunity that what is an artist? Not all artists are visual artists. I mean, you know, it could we could get music involved in it. I don't want to, you know, have it be a concert venue or anything like that. But my vision is to take the group out of the building eventually into Marin, maybe Sausalito, maybe not Sausalito, and collaborate with other uh, creative groups. So maybe we'll see a, a Sausalito artist on the road y in some fashion. You never know. You <laughs> never know. <laughs> We've been speaking with Sue Averill from Sausalito Artist to Work. Next up, we'll meet one of their other artists, Cynthia Duncan. We'll be right back. Thank you.